This is Drew with Boomer Music Company, your band and orchestra experts since 1976. Hello, I am Peter Knudsen and I am here with Boomer Music today to talk to you a little bit about some conga drums. Now conga drums, uh, these barrel shaped drums here, uh, originally, their traditional name is tumbadoras. Uh, conga is more of a modern name for them. Um, actually, they've been around for a long time. Used to be made out of just barrels where you would like store your know, liquids in and stuff. Stretch a head over it, boom, you got an instant conga. Nowadays, they're manufactured, manufactured um, in factories and built, still built by hand too. Um, rawhide heads, meaning from a, an animal <clears throat> of some type. Uh, a lot of times, they're plastic too. Uh, they can have wood bodies or they can have plastic bodies, fiberglass bodies. So come in different sizes and shapes. Um, this particular set is, uh, there's three different congas typically in the conga family, tumbadora family. The smallest being the quinto, uh, the normal size being the conga, and the biggest one being the tumba. Um, respectively, their sizes are 11, 11, three quarter, and 12 and a half, all three drums. So yeah, <clears throat> what we have here today is a conga drum and a tumba drum. Okay, let's talk about some of the tones that are being made with the drums. Uh, the first one is the open tone. That's done by hitting with uh, the whole length of the finger here. We're not really hitting with the palm of the hand at all at the edge of the drum. Nice open sound. Uh, the next one <clears throat> is the bass sound. The bass sound is done with the palm of the hand right in the middle of the drum. Sometimes you lift it to get more of the bass out of it. Um, sometimes you can use the palm or the heel strike or what is that called? I don't know, hammer strike, whatever you call it. There you go. There's a couple different ways to get the bass tone out. Uh, the next one's the muffled tone and it's the same as the open except I'm letting my fingers grip the drum. Open tone, muffled tone. Cool. Next one is the open slap tone. Now the slap is done with the fingertips like this. Open tone, slap tone. So you combine those tones to get different things going on, different rhythms, different sounds. Then the closed slap. Then the muffled slap. Then the heel toe, which is very important. Now we combine those to make what's called a timbao, T-I-M-B-A-O. This is the most kind of uh, most common conga rhythm out there, I would say. Yeah, so that's how it's done with one drum. If I add the second drum, it sounds like this. So that rhythm is based on what's called a clave rhythm. Clave rhythm is something very common. You hear it all over the place. It sounds like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four. So that pattern dictates when I go to the second drum. Check it out. <clears throat> um, Yeah, so on the three side of the clave is when I go to the second drum. So yeah, kind of a quick tutorial about the timbao here. <clears throat> Other rhythms that we like to do, um, this one's called a, a um, plena from Puerto Rico. Yep, nice driving rhythm. This one's called a bembe. This one is called a samba. Um, yeah, all different kinds of rhythms. A uh, lot of fun. Congas are really versatile. Uh, the golden age of congas was the 1970s. We listen, every recording had congas on them. Didn't matter what kind of genre it was, there was congas. Um, yeah, a lot of fun. Very cool instrument. Thanks. 
enjoy some conga. If you need help with instruments, repairs, sheet music, or anything band or orchestra, reach out to us at boomermusiccompany.com. And if you like what you hear, do me a favor and tell a friend. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, and subscribe to our e-newsletter so you will never miss another video or podcast. This is Drew with Boomer Music Company. Thank you for listening. Thank you.